Hi, I'm Casey Williams and welcome to the Southern Cross Health Zone. Health and well-being are important to me and vital to my success and that's what Southern Cross is all about. Visit the Southern Cross Health Zone regularly to check out the new articles and tips on feeling good and being healthy, even new competitions. I'm pleased to help share healthy messages with you and I hope you keep healthy and well. Netball is so important to me because it's in my family and we are, we are very sports orientated people. My dad played rugby for Waikato, my mum was a silver fern trialist, my older sister plays rugby um, for the Wasps in England, my brother was a crusader, um, then there's myself and then my little sister who is also an up and coming netball player. It's also important to me because netball is a great team sport and I'm a team player. I first started playing netball when I was seven years old at Henua Primary School. I moved on to Matamata Intermediate and then Matamata College and believe it or not, I was a shooter at college. My first big break was when the national selectors identified me at sixth form to be a part of the New Zealand Secondary Schools team. In the same year, I was also selected in the Magic team. I then progressed on to the New Zealand Under 21 team which won gold in the World Youth Champs in Miami. Making the Silver Ferns was huge for me, but the ultimate was winning the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne in 2006. It's important to eat well, train hard, and do everything possible to get that performance right out on court. But sometimes you can get caught up in it all when you really need to step back and take some time out. It's really important to have a balanced life. It's quite hard to juggle it sometimes, but as a high performance athlete, that's part of my job. For me, sleep is a really important part of my process to a lead up to a match. It's just as important as eating well and training hard. Travel is another part of the process that leads up to a match. It's really important to get into a routine for you personally so that when you arrive, uh, you are in the best condition that you can be. Being a silver fern, we travel a lot, both domestically and internationally. So for me, when I'm on the plane, I eat my meal, I choose a great movie and then I have my sleep. Eating healthy for a netballer is really important. You need the right foods at the right time with the right amounts. Um, and it's also very good to eat um, earlier on in the night time. Before a game, I have the same meal, um, which consists of a glass of chocolate milk, a corn and cheese and ham toasted sandwich, and I have that uh, the same every game, um, doesn't matter who it is. Um, it's good to get into a routine of eating the same food so that when you're out on court, your, your body can use the fuel. After a Soil Ferns netball match, we are required to eat um, within 30 minutes. Um, this helps repair the damage that we've just done while we've been playing a game. Um, you can eat a banana, some nuts, chocolate milk, um, a protein bar, anything that's going to help your recovery. And also, um, we have a post-match meal, which is probably two, two hours after a game, which consists of the same sort of thing, but is a bit more um, portion. I believe that during the lead up to uh, a game, you need to treat your body like a car. What you put in is what you get out. So the fuel and the food and the nutrients that you put into your body is how it's going to affect your performance in a game. Some of my favourites are pumpkin salads, falafel, fruit and veg and definitely red meat. They have the source of iron, carbohydrate, protein, which are needed for you to perform at your best. When I'm not playing netball, I really like to have relaxation time. Um, for me, I go home to the farm or to the beach. Um, I go shopping, hang out with my friends and family. And lately, I've purchased a surfboard to get out there and get active. Even though I have purchased a surfboard, I've only used it twice. Um, but I de I'm definitely this summer will be using it more. What I like about the farm is going home for a mental break. Uh, I feel definitely feel refreshed. Uh, I enjoy driving the motorbike, milking the cows getting in there and helping my parents. Everybody has pre-game nerves. For me personally, um, I thrive off it. Everybody should get nervous. Um, and you know, the carrying that, the adrenaline from being in the change rooms to being out on the court into the atmosphere, um, that just gets your heart going. It's important to eat well, train hard, and do everything possible to get that performance right out on court. But sometimes you can get caught up in it all when you really need to step back and take some time out. It's really important to have a balanced life. It's quite hard to juggle it sometimes, but as a high performance athlete, that's part of my job. 
For me, sleep is a really important part of my process to a lead up to a match. It's just as important as eating well and training hard. Travel is another part of the process that leads up to a match. It's really important to get into a routine for you personally so that when you arrive, uh, you are in the best condition that you can be. Being a silver fern, we travel a lot, both domestically and internationally. So for me, when I'm on the plane, I eat my meal, I choose a great movie, and then I have my sleep. My motivation for being a silver fern netballer, I like to play netball for the fun and enjoyment of it. I like to meet new people and make new friendships. And the travel, I go some places that I'd never get to go unless I was a silver fern. And also, I really, really like to win. My message to you young netballers out there, eat healthy, keep fit, enjoy what you're doing, have more of an interest in just netball and get some great coaching. I believe there are two parts of being a great defender. The first one is having the physical presence over your partner and the second is the mental edge that you'll have over your opponent. Every time I go out there on court, I want to have a physical presence. And for me, that means tight one-on-one -on -one marking, let your opponent know you're there and contest every ball. My toughest opponent would have to be my silver fern teammate, Irene Van Dyke. I think Irene is intimidating, accurate and very versatile. For me, that helps me push my game even further and I love playing against her.